Hey, Kyle, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. Um, we haven't had a chance to talk to you since the Bills game. I know you probably have moved on from that, but I did want to ask you about one play from that game, if I could. Uh, the third down play, it looked like uh, as McKenzie crossed over your face, you, you, you thought about about reaching out and, and, and jamming him or redirecting him, but uh, didn't. And I was just curious, is that what your mindset was in that moment? You know, was it, uh, you know, am I in the five yard contact window or not and stuff like that? That's actually exactly what was in my mindset. So I didn't, uh, I knew it was a, it would be helpful to jam him, but I didn't know where I was down the field and how far I was and didn't want to change it. So just the hesitation just kind of played on the safer side of not touching him. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Okay, we'll go to uh, Mike Reese followed by Alex Barth. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, Kyle. How you doing today? Doing good. Good. Thanks for taking the time to talk with us, as okay. always. Um, well, this game against the Jaguars, I wanted to ask you about, um, with all their moving parts, guys in and out of COVID lists and all that stuff, how would you describe what the week of preparation has been like this week? Um, it's kind of been a, a week that things have moved around as the pieces on their side have moved around. We've uh, kind of adjusted things every day, but I mean, we kind of do that every week as far as as the week goes by. Pieces, things change, people change, and, and so we just have to adjust and continue to move forward and uh, put the best game plan out. Kyle, at today's practice, um, when when we're there as reporters and we don't see someone like Adrian there at the start of practice, how does that change things for you on a day like today at practice? Uh, I just have to make sure I'm communicating um, and, and really communicating with the guys who are filling in for him and uh, taking his spot in practice and making sure that I'm um, making sure that I'm locked in and doing everything I'm supposed to be doing pre uh, pre snap and before the play starts. And uh, my last one um, last week, and I really appreciated your openness on the whole Pittman thing um, with the league coming down with the, the fine decision. Um, one, will you appeal? And two, just sort of what was your reaction to that? If um, when on them, deciding to find you and not him? Uh, as far as appealing, um, I'm not sure yet, honestly, so I can't really answer that. But uh, I'm not surprised. It doesn't surprise me. Once I read uh, what <clears throat> they were finding me for and the details of it, um, it did fall into that category, whether I was in the wrong or not, whether it was a, re a reaction or not. So it doesn't surprise me. Thanks for taking the time today, Kyle. Appreciate it. We'll go to Alex Bark next. Go ahead, Alex. Hey, Kyle. Uh, I'm just curious your initial impressions watching Trevor Lawrence on film. Just what you what you've thought of him so far. Um, I think he's a talented quarterback with a big arm and and very athletic, getting outside the pocket. Um, that's really the, the the thing that stuck out to me the most. Just when I first watched his arm and, and his athleticism. And then, and some of your teammates have been asked this this week, but you guys started two and four. You know, you, you won seven straight. Here you are again, kind of two-game losing streak. Is there any lessons from that first turnaround that you guys can use as you kind of try to get back on track here? Uh, definitely is. Um, we know what the recipe is. Uh, we know it, it's up to us to, to dig in every day and do what we have to do to come out on the right side of things. So we're definitely learning from that and learning to uh, looking to build on that as well. Cool. Thank you. All right.